April 4th, 2019. I held a live stream on automation, and within only an hour, a legend was born. A V12 Dodge Neon limousine that, uh, looked like this. They called him Speeve. Yes, I know. Very creative. It was a long anticipation for Speed fans to see their beloved V12 limo perform in BMG Drive, but he didn't. The day of the recording, it was discovered that Speed, in fact, had NAN errors, preventing him from even loading into the game. Even Aruna, the mod maker, said there was very little hope of fixing him. Naturally, people were saddened. We accepted our fate and moved on. April 22nd, an individual by the name of Innocent Joker decided that Speeve had life in him yet. Alright, here's where things get tricky. Did you get all that? Me neither. But I can condense and explain. In automation, the weight was just NAN. Innocent fixed the BeamNG export and removed over 1,500 NAN values from the JBeam files. This allowed the car to spawn in BeamNG, but without a working engine. Back to work with that one. And the moment of truth. Just a few more adjustments and Speeve is working perfectly. I posted in the automation discord. A reddit post, a message on the BeamNG site reading, Speeve is now done. The legend lives. What comes next is merely a mystery. Except it isn't because we're gonna drive him right now. Oh no! <laughs> So we have three variants of speed here. We have the extreme supercharger, the Mach 1.18 top speed, uh, right? And we have the stream chat built it. Speed, humankind has peaked. This is the most insane and ridiculous thing that was ever created in automation. Thanks to the amazing work of shiny old stream chat, <laughs> thanks cunt, and the work of who's writing this, you can now drive a 2000 horsepower limo with 12 exhausts that backfire in the firing order off a of V12. Thanks to Simon for that. It also has a roof wing that is purely functional and gives the car good control, as well as many other wings. You can tune the maximum boost of the turbos to 1000 PSI in the tuning menu. You. you can also give it 3,000 kilowatts of NOS. The gearing is fully customizable. You can customize the exterior of Speed with the parts selector and also select different engine parts and tires there. Have fun. And the performance class 69. God fucking damn it. I, I, I should I even look at the other ones? I don't even know at this point. Speed can now take advantage of the seven blowers on his hood. They bump up horsepower to almost 3,000 horsepower. They can be customized in terms of power to make a good 400,000 horsepower. Beam will not like that, however. You can tune the maximum boost of the supercharger to 621 PSI. D did you do that on purpose? It doesn't kill us and loss, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. So that was just a more extreme version of the already extreme car. And then we have this. With some buff tires and suspension, Speed can reach speeds of Mach 1. Jesus Christ! Drive in manual mode. Don't launch the car in anything higher than idle or the rear axle will break. Be careful of steering adjustments. When you're in 6th gear, the car will bounce around. Shift to 7th when you're in 6th and you'll be able to accelerate further. Jesus Christ. I don't know what I was expecting, mind you, but this is a goddamn death trap. Jesus Lord. So I'm just on the small island USA at the moment just to test them out. I don't want to go anywhere crazy. I can barely see above the... We've crashed it. From what I felt so far, though, Steve is not actually that bad to drive. He's steering it... For fuck's sake. Oh, did you see that? That... And he's stuck. He's, he's stuck. All right, take it nice and smooth. Will he even fit in here? Oh, God. Oh god, he doesn't. Do you know what? Maybe this was a bad idea. There, there, there is one slight flaw with Speed, and that is the fact that there's no road on this goddamn earth that can actually contain his fat ass. Right, this is the straightest road here. You cannot mess this up. Surely. Please. Sh please. 
please. I re I really want to die. The corner. You can take corners pretty nicely, actually, if you're careful. But you get to learn him. Oh, God. No, there's no way he was ever making that. Bauer will land it. But to be honest, it's the furthest he's made it within one trip. So I'll give it to him. Well done, Steve. I'm proud of you. All right, so uh, here we are on the grid map. We're, we're going to do this. We're going to try it. The Extreme Supercharger one's basically the same as the standard car, although it's just a bit more powerful. So I think we're just going to skip out on that one and go straight to this. I've chosen the grid map because, well, we need the biggest space possible. So we're going to see what sort of speed Speed can hit. As you'll notice, his wing is now gone. I'm replaced with a goddamn weighty bar, which Innocent has actually <laughs> fastened really well on there. This is actually genuinely an incredibly well done mod for... How ridiculous it is. The roof wing is also gone. We need to make sure we're in manual for this. And we need to launch it from idle, apparently. That's it. That is it. We've got our launch. Now we've got to take it very easy. Oh, God. As soon as it hits 60 miles an hour, this is going to kick in. There we go. Right. Now you're trying to keep this in a straight line is the challenge. Remember the very long steering inputs. We have to be very gentle. That's the only way we're going to get away with this. Keep her straight. That's it. That's it. So we've got almost 270 miles per hour, 280. So we're very gentle with this. Up another gear. That is it. A 340. We're keeping it in the straight line. This is it. This is the straight line we're looking for. Fifth gear. 420. 430. We can go up another gear. Oh my god. Uh, I have no words. Oh my god, no. It's getting unsettled at 500 miles per hour. Oh my. Right. Speed has seen better days. There's 500 again. Uh, this, this is not right. Something tells me this is not what was meant to happen. What the fuck is this? Right, it might be time to stop this now. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a brilliant run. The engine's is destroyed and Speed has quite destroyed himself. But look at that, that was incredible. Innocent said to skip out in sixth gear, I think. So let's make sure we don't accidentally do that again. I can see what he means now. The car definitely got very unsettled. Oh god, nearly like it did there. Oh my god, never mind. Jesus Christ, that took like about 10 sec. What is that? We need to make sure to skip into seventh. Okay, so there's fifth. And now for the next two gears, we need to go up them. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. This is it. There's seventh climbing. We are at 500 miles per hour. It's got very unsettled again. Try and keep it together. Try and keep it together. 500. We're two wheeling a lot right now. The world is moving faster than I can even comprehend. We're still hovering about 500 miles an hour. I still think I saw 530 there, but Steve has now flipped over onto his 555! 560 miles an hour! Oh my god! And that's the highest we're gonna hit, boys. Oh my god. That is not what a car is meant to look like. 800 wheel speed. 800 miles an hour wheel speed, about 600 miles an hour actual moving speed, I guess. Well, Speed, you did me proud. That was a fantastic run. And he's still going. Look at him. Oh, my God. Hey, the weenie bar somewhat survived. <laughs> but I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm extremely satisfied with that. And I'm amazed that Speed's even working. And let alone to this extent. I want to say one final thank you to Innocent for all of this. This is absolutely incredible. You really, really put so much more effort into this than you needed to. But it's so incredible to see Speed finally working at BMG and better than ever. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And thank you, Jenison, once again for getting this fantastic car working in BMG. It's my first BMG video without having an automation segment. So I hope it was enjoyable. If you want more like this, please do give me ideas or let me know, uh, etc. Yes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there, mind if I push my video over 10 minutes so I can promote my Twitch? By not following me on Twitch, you're missing out on fantastic creations that don't quite make it into videos such as this. Rorex 3 Nuzzles, how are you? Oh, no, 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 uh -oh. Nuzzles your necky uh -oh. wacky tilde no, mer tilde like he 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 rubbies your bulgy wall be also I, big. I, I am being violated. And uh, and this. <laughs> <laughs>if you want to help out and get involved in future videos by making our very stupid and crazy wacky wild automation cars with us there is a link in the top of the description to my twitch go ahead and follow that and i hope to see you in our next stream thank you very much for watching this video again your support is incredible oh.